In today's lesson, we'll cover Firebase multi-site hosting with Angular and Hugo. You may notice that at the bottom of your Firebase hosting site, you have this multiple sites upgrade. I'll cover in the lesson why going to the Blaze plan is the best option for you. You have to do this in order to do the multi-site hosting on Firebase. Don't worry though, I still don't incur charges while using this type of setup. You may have a single site at this point and not multiple like I do, but we're gonna go through how to add another one. So you list out the full URL for the new site, including the subdomain path. At this time, you can go and view your hosting path. And if you'd like to set up a, a custom domain on this, you can go into your favorite DNS hosting provider and just add two A type records. It's really simple using Google domains. If you haven't tried this before, this is what it looks like. You just come in and you put your subdomains in as well as the two IP addresses that are required from Firebase, they'll be on the screen that, that comes up once you apply for this. After you're done, you'll go into a pending state and it's just looking for a certain amount of time before the DNS cache clears and resets. For those of you out there using Hugo Go's themes, what we're gonna look at is how to use two different themes with the same content. One is based on AJMP's Ionic Hugo, the other is gonna be based on AJMP's AMP Hugo setup and they're both in our theme folder based on the current content that we have in the GitHub repo. Next, we'll walk through setting up a Firebase hosting multi setup using the Angular example, but it fits one and the same to the Hugo example. Once we do a Hugo build on both of our theme setups, we can then deploy these out to Firebase. First, we'll try them by doing Firebase serve on both of the directories to see if we can have both of the files hosted at the same time locally, which represents what will happen in the cloud later. As you can see here, there's an example of HMP's Hugo Ionic theme, and then also on port 5005, there's an example of the HMP AMP Hugo theme. Now in the same Firebase project, we will set up two Angular projects because of the way Firebase works, you have to set up the same domain name in a single project so it can share the resources. For this example, we're gonna use Google's Source Cloud repository and pick the project that you'll be working on. If you haven't done this, please refer back to the earlier lessons on how to accomplish this. If you've never used Angular before, or if you're on a new machine, you'll need to do npm install-g at angular slash CLI. This will give us the commands that we're gonna need for the rest of the Angular project. At this point, you can ng new and then name your project accordingly. I would recommend using the Angular router and SCSS for your stylings. Of course, you can use whatever you need. Once you're in the correct directory, go ahead and do code space dot, and this will open up Visual Studio Code. You'll notice that in our folder setup currently, it's, it's as if it were a normal Angular setup, so it only has a single source tree. We're going to also run the command Firebase init and this will start to set up our Firebase project and initialize it correctly. For this project, I chose to use Firestore functions as well as hosting. All you need for the multi-site hosting is the hosting selection. After you hit spacebar on those items, you can continue to the end. We're actually gonna set up the Firebase hosting to serve out of the dist folder and whatever your um, project setup name will be, go ahead and do dist slash project name. The next command that we'll be adding is Firebase target apply hosting, and then it's the target and the source name. This is the most important part about the multi-site hosting. It will add targets to your .firebase RC file. Once that's complete, we're going to have to update the firebase.json so that it's an array of targets instead of a single target. This allows us to deploy to both apps at the same time. If you pull down the repo, you should be all set once doing this, but if you're setting up your own Angular app, you're gonna have to do some renaming if you adjust your targets like I did in this example. Now we're able to do the ng generate application command, providing both of the Ajon app and the Ajon admin projects. This will add both projects to our angular.json file, and we'll have to make sure it's cleaned up accordingly. You'll see that I actually get a failure when I'm attempting to test this. It's because I forgot to remove my original project name that we had in the source directory. Now that we've cleaned up the source directory, we can actually run both of these projects using Firebase serve. 
Here you'll actually notice that Firebase uses port 5000, 5005 to serve both of these directories up as if they're individual sites. Once we deploy this, they will deploy accordingly to each site. Notice in the title bar here, we have welcome to ajomp-admin and welcome to ajomp-app. Now in order to get these up into production, we actually need to build both Angular projects. Um, you can automate this a little better if you use Cloud Build. We've covered that in the past sessions, so I'll point you over there to get the Cloud Builder set up. I'll also add the cloudbuild.yaml that correctly pushes both of these sites out to your hosting provider. So go ahead and run ng build dash dash prod and you'll see the production build that comes out. You'll notice that in the dist folder, the only thing that is in there currently is the single project. That's because we set it as the default in our angular.json file. We need to actually put in the dash dash project command to build out the second project. Once this is done, we'll do Firebase deploy dash dash hosting, and that allows us just to push our hosting files up. Normally, again, you'll do this in the cloud build itself, so you won't have to mess around with this locally in the future. And as you can see, you have admin.ajmp.com as well as app.ajmp.com. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe so AJ can keep on programming.